hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a quick and easy quick weave closure wig i will sit a 16 inch closure and three 18 inch bundles of body wave hair by wigsby.com it came packaged like this it also came with a comb and clips and caps and here's the hair after I washed it or shampooed it and I'm just um, taking the closure and I'm gonna put it about one fourth inch in front of the cap and I'm gonna take my t-pins and pin it down first the front and then the back of the closure and then I'm also gonna put two t-pins on the sides just to hold the sides down while I sew it okay I'm also going to start sewing in the back in the middle on the side of that t-pin that I have right there so I'm just take my needle and thread and just start sewing very close together sewing the closure down and I just want to um, sew the closure down just to make sure that it's secure because the other parts will be glued and I don't want the closure to accidentally come off or lift up or anything like that so I prefer to sew the closure down so just want to sew small stitches right next to each other until you get down to the end of the closure in the front Okay, so once you're done sewing on that side, you just want to go over to the other side and do the exact same steps you did on this side. And you may need one more T-pin just to secure the front of the closure, but you just want to sew along the side of the uh, closure in small stitches, small little stitches right next to each other until you get down to the front of the closure. And then that's it. Here's the uh, three bundles after I shampooed them. They turned, they were much curlier when I first got them, but they were more like body wave after they were shampooed and dried. So you just want to cut your first track to fit on that nape part, the bottom of the uh, track. You just want to cut it right there and fit it just along the bottom part by the nape of the cap or the wig so then you just want to take your blow dryer and blow dry it make sure that the glue is completely dry on each track and then I just went over the top of that last one just to make sure it's really really secure so that the wig will be long lasting and you won't have to worry about the tracks uh, coming up so anyway I just cut another piece and another piece and just glued them down and I'm just going side to side from like the top of the ear and just taking a blow dryer and making sure that each one is dry if you need to reinforce the track with by just putting a little bit of glue on top you can do that to make sure that the track stay in place And you just want to continue uh, measuring at the track along the side in kind of like a u-shape above the ear and you just want to keep doing that until you run out of hair completely so you're going to use the whole three bundles on the entire head and just make sure that the hair is full so you just want to track the hair in a u-shape 
until you get to the top. Once you make it to your very last track, you just want to apply your glue and lay it down around the closure in a U shape. Press it down, blow dry it really good. Make sure that it's completely tacked to the wig cap and there you have it. See how quick and easy that was? It didn't take no time. So yeah, that's how your wig should look once you're done. You can take it off of the wig head and I just cut down the middle of the cap where the closure is and uh, I just cut the sides of the cap off after that. So the only thing, you don't want to have any fabric left over under the closure once you're done making the wig. So you just want to cut all the fabric off under the uh, closure and that's why it's important to sew the closure down when you're making a quick weave wig now i'm just taking some nairobi foam i actually meant to put water spray some water on her first because i thought the closure was already plucked good enough but i ended up putting the nairobis on there anyway i'm just gonna go through and pluck it just a little bit more not much just a little bit more and you can pluck it as much or as little as you like, but I just plucked it a little bit. And then I'm going back and add a little bit more of the Nairobi uh, foaming wrap lotion. Because I'm going to uh, set this wig in a middle, well it can be a middle part, but I'm actually going to wear it in the side part. But I parted it down the middle of the closure and then I'm just going to kind of make sure it's laid and everything is covered and then I'm gonna put it under the hair dryer for about 20 minutes and let that closure dry okay once you're done with the wig I my hair was already in a ponytail anyway so I just pulled it up in the back and put some bobby pins down put a beige stocky cap down over my ponytail and adjusted it and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of got to be free spray and I'm gonna blow dry it so here I'm just gonna take a little bit of makeup on a little makeup brush and I'm gonna go in a T because I had already set the um, closure in a middle part so I'm just gonna go in like a T I'm going to go down the middle of the closure where I put the part at and then right in the front so it's going to kind of look like the makeup is on there in the teeth. And then I just want, want to apply the wig. With mine, I have to put the wig on front first because my ponytail kept falling down in the back. But uh, you just want to pull the wig on. It should be nice and tight. I already put some curls in the hair just for time's sake so I didn't show the hair being curled but I just put a few big barrel curls in there I'm just gonna take my got to be free spray and pull my lace back on the closure use the blow dry to blow dry it a little bit put a little bit more of the free spray take the blow dryer and blow dry it a little bit more because I want it to get tacky so that I can just lay the closure down and spray it one more time just to make sure it's tacky because I'm not using any glue so I want to make sure it's sticky enough to stay down so just take your blow dryer and just continue blow drying it until you get it sticky enough for you then you can just roll your lace down and take a little rat tail comb I like to use the rat tail comb with the metal end because it just helps me lay the lace down into my skin and then you can also use your fingers and just kind of massage it in with the blow dryer make sure it's dry and just make sure you keep blow drying it on like a medium setting until the hair is stuck down it should be stuck down almost like glue with that free spray then just take the scissors cut it in the middle and then take the eyebrow orchard and just kind of in a jagged kind of way 
cut the lace off, the excess lace. And I had those little tabs left over after I cut the lace off. So you just take some scissors and cut it. And then use your razor to do the other side. And you don't want it to be perfect. You want it to kind of be jagged. And then just cut those little end pieces that, that I had left over. Just cut those off. Also, I'm going to take a little bit of black spray just to spray that little tab. I don't know why those tabs are so big on the side. And then just section out a little bit of baby hair. You can use more baby hair or less baby hair. Usually, I don't like to use a whole lot of baby hair. and But I had to use some because my hairline is really low. And to cover up my own hairline, so I did use a little bit of the baby hair. You just pull out as much as you want and take the eyebrow archer razor and just cut the little hairs off. You can do it with scissors too, it doesn't really matter. Take some got to be free spray. Lay the hairs down just a little bit because you want that free spray just to get a little tacky so that you can move the hair the way you need it to go. bit more free spray and then you can kind of mold the baby hair the way you want to I really didn't want a whole whole lot of baby hair but I did uh, do just a little bit right in the front and then take a little free spray to, and blow dry it down you can you also use that Nairobi to mold your baby hairs after I did it I realized that's what I should have done too but it's okay so anyway I'm spray a little olive oil oil sheen on my hair and get my purple shampoo comb let me adjust that wig right quick girl hold on okay get my purple shampoo comb and just comb all the curls out going to the back and then just kind of push the curls forward look cute y'all what y'all think it turned out really well the hair is soft it's thick it had like a luster to it I don't know if y'all like that or not but it did have like a little luster to it it hurt, held the curls really well the hair is hanging up in the bathroom in my house right now and it's still really curly so anyway here's my finished look I hope y'all like it. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. And go to wigsby.com.